your sense of style has been something that I've gotten to watch up mm -hmm. close develop. I mean, how did that kind chic. of start for you? I don't know. It's just my love for art, really. Yeah. You know, like clothing is art. Like everything in life is art. If yeah. you think about it, like reporting is art, sure, yeah. right? So I think that as that's grown and my love for it and my taste from like just traveling the world, mm -hmm. I think obviously that pay, plays a big part into it. You know, when I was a kid, you know, they always said your first impression is your, you know, best and could be yeah, your yeah. last. Right. So make the most out of it. That's one of my favorites. I actually met um, Rick Owens, mm -hmm. the designer, for yeah. the first time, and his wife actually designed that top. And I was super hype, and he was like, you know, you wear my clothes how they should be. Really? And I was like very honored that he told me that, so. What do you feel like you look like in this photo? I look like I'm just low key. Yeah. I'm very low key, but I'm very cozy. That was what, that's what I was gonna, word I was cozy. gonna use. This is a very cozy jacket. Plus, like I it's, love this it's big. You could have like a TV in there, and no one would know. But also, like it's like aesthetically pleasing to look at. This, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna just be straight with you. I don't really understand what you're going for. Here. You don't understand. So, I just was like, this is in Dallas. Mm -hmm. Just wanted, like, I was feeling colorful that day. Okay, but the face. That was a Marnie top. Yeah. And um, it just went well with the fit because I'm like, I have rainbows already, and mm -hmm. like. I already have no shirt on, so I'm like, I might as well like put another piece of clothing on, so like it just like goes. <laughs> and then this is probably the most famous outfit you've ever worn. Probably most famous, yeah. And and tell me what went into when you got dressed that day, thinking, yeah, I'm taking this out of the closet. Everybody wants to wear oversized clothes right. nowadays, right? Yeah. But oversized clothes on like a guy like me doesn't look oversized, oversized right? So like making just a play on that, mm -hmm. like I'm wearing oversized clothes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, cause that's how oversized clothes looks on other people. Other people. I mean, I'm not sure that like this, the sleeves on this sweater are really. Yeah. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do uh -huh. when walking in and I thought about this the entire car ride. And you I'm did. like, do I want to roll the sleeves up? Right. Or do I want to let it hang? Right. And I'm like, let's just wear it as like a runway. Did you have any idea how much attention this was going to get you? Problem for sure, for sure. <laughs> not, it's not, I'm not new to it. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I wore outfits all the time yeah, yeah. that does that. But I this feel like one, this one was the one that people were like, this was the tipped one. Over this the like edge. exploded. Yeah, like exploded. What was your phone like this night? This night it was crazy. Even before the game, because yeah, I bet. posted it right away. Yeah, yeah. And I had a double double that night, so it was good. That's good. It was cool. And then they went and. They made your bobblehead. Yeah. And my favorite part about this bobblehead is that like the arms swing as they should. Yeah. And this just, blew this blew up too. Yeah, like, hundred percent. This is, is like a huge I I'm I could this keep this, I could sell this and this buy myself selling, one this of these. This is selling houses. on eBay for like hundred and fifty. No, I know it. It's crazy. It's hot ones. I, I can't say it looks like you in the face that much, no. but <laughs> No, not really. The sweater is the sweater is good and the fact that the arms do this is pretty good. Yeah. But you know this means you gotta raise your game for this coming season because you gotta give sure. them a new I'll figure something out. A new a new thing to do. And your sense of style is still developing, it feels like. I feel like you update your look every year. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to say with your clothes? That's a great question. I've never been asked that question. I just have a, a, a aura about me, mm -hmm. you know, like when I, I'm a Leo. Yeah. So naturally when we walk into places, it's like, yeah. it's, our, it's our show at this it's time. It's on. And it's on. Yeah. So like naturally that just adds to that aesthetic. And the hair, obviously. You're never trying to blend. Never trying to blend. I don't like to fit in. I like that about you though. Because we're already fit in, you gotta think. Like, right. We're on this earth as humans. Like we are the standard. So like, you know, trying to fit in is like, what? Like do your own thing. I like too, like um, the sweater you're wearing right now, mm -hmm. you know, there's a sense of art about it. Mm -hmm. And art is something that's been important to you since you were a kid. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know, you used to like yeah. draw for real, like anime and cartoon mm -hmm. type stuff and everything. I still paint too, I still paint. That's what, yeah, um, I was gonna ask I you love, about. I love art. Yeah. Like, it's just a creative outlet. It's a way to, especially as I'm getting older, yeah. I think it's like a way for me to like decompress. Painting really started maybe four years ago. Okay. And um, I was just like, one summer I was just really bored. And I just like, I'm very sporadic and spontaneous mm -hmm. as a person. So like, I just went to Michael's real quick. Yeah. And just like picked up a whole bunch of paints. So I love that you life. went to Michael's like every other crafting mom in like this yeah, suburban I went universe. To Michael's. You were like, what's going on at Michael's today? Yeah, so I just went, to, I went there <laughs> yeah. and just picked up like the, the biggest boards that I could and like some basic acrylic art. And, uh -huh. 
you know, just was slapping things onto the board.